it's there pretty much for the more casual players to think that they are playing really well or at a really high level without looking into anything. Like, they're not even going to be watching this stream. They're not going to be on forums. They're not going to be talking to people. They're going to be playing the game um, with no input from anyone else. And they're just going to be seeing their rank go up and being like, hey, I got to Ure kind of shit. It's massive deception. I really, I'm a, like a big, uh, what's the word? I'm really against it. I'm massively against it. I don't like, because as I said, the two biggest things I hate are controlling people and fakes, you know, liars, fakes, that kind of shit. And it's fake as fuck, like de deceiving so many people doing this. I find it so fake. I hate it. <clears throat> yeah, massively opposed. Go everyone on both Survivor and kill it on your first month when the game is fuck off. <laughs> yeah, it does. It does mean fuck off. It's going to mean even less of a fuck as well because you can't even deep it soon. <laughs> everyone, everyone's just going to be Uri 1. As long as you keep playing, you'll get to Uri 1. You physically cannot, like, not not get to it. Especially with MMR going down every time you lose anyway. You know what? I, I, could, uh, I could bring up Peter and show you how it works if you want. It's really bad. It, it, it's basically designed to get anyone at any skill level to Uri 1, as long as they keep playing. Massive deception. And more games are doing it, apparently, soon, so, yeah. I guess this is the new generation, right? I do not envy this new generation. I'm very happy with the um, the generation I was brought up in. You'll never experience that, you know. Where when you were like really good at a game and you jumped into like just a public lobby, the, the power you could feel by being so good. You'll never get that anymore. Oh, I experienced it, yeah. I remember jumping on Fear Combat and literally having people who owned the server think I was cheating and ban me. <laughs> well, I'll always remember that match. I think I was like 20 and 0 and everyone else was dead. No one got a kill because I kept running around the map and I was killing them so quick. <laughs> That's obviously a massive... Um, what would I say? It's not an exaggeration because an exaggeration would be a lot, right? Um, what the fuck? Um... It's uh, an outlier. Like, it, it didn't happen all the time. But I did get really good um, results. But that was like an outlier. That, like, stood out because it was insane. But I remember on COD as well, jump onto a public lobby, just run around out aiming everyone because you were so much better at aiming than, you know, a lot of them. Um, and just, like... You know, they'd kill you eventually because there were loads of people, but you'd get like fucking 80 kills and like 10 deaths or something. 80 kills, 5 deaths, where you're just running around, just psh, 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 fucking hell. Very, very fun. And then people can be like, how is that fair? Um, what, you're just beating up on like uh, noobs or whatever. Yeah, but I'm just another human just as they are. Like, they can do the same. You, you wreak the rewards of your skill, you know? But now, now, what happens? is they grab all the best players to go against the best players. So the best players now just look kind of average because they're getting like one, two kill to every death because they're going against such good players. And then they get really uh, bad players to go against really bad players and they're getting kind of similar stuff. You get some smurfs scattered in who look like they're like gods, but they're just smurfing. Um, and then they tell the bad players that, oh no, uh, oh, sorry, the bad players think they're playing at the same level as the really good players. Um, the good players will never really be listened to in that sense. Um, and then the, the really bad players will uh, watch kind of Smurfs and they'll think Smurfs are the good players, right? They'll be like, oh, this person gets like a nuke every game or whatever. Yeah, because they're going against bad players Smurfing, obviously. <laughs> like, it's just, it's just this massive fucking sphere of deception everywhere. It's like, it's like, it's like my worst fucking like nightmare coming true. <laughs> just deception, deception, deception. <laughs> Fuck's sake. I hate it. But it is what it is. A lot of people won't kind of 
analyze it to the depth that I've analyzed it, because what's the point? You're not, you're not really going to think about it. You're not going to care. Wouldn't it make way more sense to just have MMR link to rank? To avoid confusion and have rank actually mean something. They want confusion. They want confusion. That's why they don't do it. They want bad players to think they're as good as the good players. They want that. They don't want it because they want, like, kind of arguments and, and misinformation and stuff. They want it because it makes them feel good. So, yeah, obviously rank should link to MMR, but that's if the, um, the devs wanted, uh, no confusion. They want confusion, that's why it's not linked, you see. Asshole. He gets that. Ooh, that was really late and once. Oh, sorry, really early and once again it worked. I'm noticing that more. Hmm. Fuck. Oh, nice. Trying to think what he did there. Did he confuse himself? It ain't just behavior, Pogget. Apparently they're doing it on Overwatch and they're doing it on uh, Siege as well. So it's just gonna be, yeah, I mean, we're, we're at the starting point of the big kind of confusion, man. Like where we're, um, you know, we're seeing it happen kind of uh, in motion. Slowly, you know. <laughs> nah, that's an outlier again, Timmy. So you're talking about when I played Tekken? Um, and I was going against like vets and stuff. That's a complete outlier. Like Tekken's issue is it never changes anything. So people who have like 20,000 hours in the game, it's very hard to catch up to them. You still can, and I would. I would. If I put enough time in, I 100% would. I just, not, I'm not incentivized to do that, right? Like if I, if I really wanted to learn Tekken and all that kind of stuff, I would be incentivized to do it and I would do it. But that's a massive outlier. Like that is, um, that is going to my massive extremes. Like, I disagree with the way Tekken Sony might work. Like, it's really strange that they don't really change much. It's a legacy game, yeah. Siege is terrible right now. You've not played it uh, um, at least a year. Siege rank. Just recently tried to come back into it. Uh, was matching you with the highest ranks of the game because you were once the highest rank part two years ago. Makes no sense. Yeah, but the highest rank won't mean anything soon. Like, you'll say you're going against masters, but they're actually, they'll be bronze, like MMR. Do they actually show uh, MMR in Siege? Like, will they show it, or are they getting rid of that as well? Like, was MMR just linked to rank, and now, um, now it won't be? Wow. Wow, they don't show it anymore. Oh, dude, I hate it. It is what it is, though. You know, it's just new generation. You have to embrace the new generations, don't you? I think it's really bad, though. I just think it, it, it creates, like, non-productive chats. Like, how can you have productive chat with someone who's playing at a bronze level, but the game's telling the master? How, how are you going to do that? You tell me. A lot of people have ego, right? So these people, where the game's like, you're a master. You really think they're going to listen to someone being like, oh, no, no. No, you're not a master. The game's lying to you. You're actually really bad. They won't listen to them. Like, even if it's, like, obs like completely observ uh, observable that they, um, they're not good, they won't listen. They'll be like, it it'll be like massive uh, cognitive dissonance, right? It'll be massive cognitive dissonance.
What's there to say? First game today, you get a Cheeto. Yeah, I avoided someone who looked a bit sus. All right, I need to actually memorize hooks right now. I don't know how good or bad we're doing. I am paying attention to this game because they were more chill than usual. Okay, good. Okay, that, that, that's important. I know we have a bot somewhere. I just don't know where the fuck she's gone. Uh, they create MMR to push the best players away from the bad. It's whole part of the plan, right? Push the best players away from the bad, and then make the bad think that they're playing good. And then profit. Because if, if uh, they wanted MMR for, like, a positive thing towards good players, they would give something for it, right? If you got to high MMR, you'd get some kind of reward. You don't get anything for it, and it's completely hidden. So, the only logical thing is they're trying to hide you away, aren't they? Thanks for all the streams, smiley face. No problem, man. MMR is to prevent people pub stomping. No, it's to get the good players away from the bad, and then then they can say to the bad players that they're the good ones, or they they're good as well. Like it's it's part it's it's one part of the plan of deception, right? Because if they don't have that, then the um, the good players will meet the bad players, and then they'll actually see like, oh wait, yeah, I'm, I'm, we're not as good. Like, you hide the good players away from the bad. You only let bad versus bad. Now their perspective of good is bad. Do you not get it? I think it's, like, really basic psychology. We we base our views on kind of the perspective of what we see, right? Like, if we only go against bad, the very, very best bad is good, right? So if they limit uh, how good players you go against, your version of good will actually still be bad, but it's the best what you can go against, right? If they for if they push you against good players, then you will see actually the whole different level of difficulty good is. Do, do you get what I mean? Like they're creating a false perspective for you. It's deception. I don't like it. Uh, like that's what that's why I, what I said. I mean, case in point, people have been deceived so much that they actually think bots are good. Because the caliber they go against is so low that bots look good, right? And it's not their fault. Like, I don't blame them for it. They're, they're being deceived. They're being pretty much manipulated um, into this kind of false, false reality. Uh, I'm just, you know, I don't like it. Well, we got a lot of hooks here, but these were kind of chill and one person rage quit. Let's see if we get the dub. Okay, that way. Get the hesitation. She might try and shift W. No, she isn't. Okay, this should be a... Well, wait, wait. Might not be. Don't want to get overconfident. Well, the girl can't save her. I think she has no mirror, actually. Or maybe she did the uh, thing in the basement. I don't know. Yeah. Not bad. 11 hook game. More of a chill game that we've had. One of the chiller ones. Um, and we actually got to have a bit of a chat because of it. Very nice. Another thing is that bad players will improve way slower with how MMR works nowadays. They won't even prove it at all, because they won't know they need to. Uh, no problem, Prime. Appreciate it for the build. Uh, number one, thank you for the $2 super chat, man. And thank you for being on the streams. Appreciate you. 
It's a hard conversation to have because you're actually going to be breaking people's reality. Like, the, the it's cognitive dissonance, right? We've already talked about it, where they have this reality where they think so-and-so, right? So someone who's really bad will probably think they're a lot better because they're going against bad. Uh, and then when you tell them that, they're not going to accept that because you're breaking their reality. And then all of a sudden, they thought they were good, but they're actually not. So they're going to, going to get really aggressive. Maybe they'll say back to you, no, you're bad. You're the bad one. You know, then it just turns into this just kind of stupid conversation. It's very... It, it's very, very... What would I say? I think it's very malicious, what these devs are doing. Because they're just... They're creating this weird, weird kind of atmosphere around everything. Uh, and I'm not saying just DVD. Like, if Overwatch are doing it, uh, and if Rainbow Six are doing it, it's going to do the same thing. It's going to create really, really bad conversations. Because people are not going to admit... I will, they, they didn't even admit it. They don't know, because the level they're going against is so low, and they, they don't understand that because there's no other level they're going against. Like, it's it's so, it's re, it's really smart, but I fucking hate it. It's manipulative, uh, manipulative at its best. Yeah, I hate it. But, what can you do? Like, I'm aware of it, but me being aware of it doesn't really change anything. Um, it's probably just going to get worse and worse, right? I think devs have kind of figured out it's quite uh, successful for them to 